Sometimes you're going to learn some information that's really easy for you to learn. Let's say you're learning all the countries and capitals of the world. Now this might be easy for you because you're really good at memorizing random words. Now what are um, countries and capitals? Just a whole bunch of random words, right? You just have to come up with an image for these different words. And so you might be an expert in that. Now you might think, hey, you know, this is so simple for me. I can go through, you know, pretty much all of these and memorize them right now. And so you go through and do that, but you run into a problem. The next day you can't recall all that information. And that's because you memorize too much information too quickly. And that happens where you're memorizing information that you're really good at. And so you think you can memorize as much as possible in that given amount of time. Maybe it's an hour, maybe it's a day. You know, it really kind of depends on what the information is and how much time you want to spend on it, right? And so you might go through quickly memorizing all of these different countries and capital. Since you're really good at memorizing random words, you know, you fly through it. But if you don't do a review when you're finished with your study session, and so let's say you go through all of the countries, and I guess there's 197, you know, depending on which source, it kind of varies. So you go through and memorize every single country and capital, so you have 197, but you don't review all of them. You don't review the 197 of them. Now, the ones you don't review, you're going to forget because you have so much information you just memorized that all your images are kind of like in this purgatory kind of limbo area because they're kind of there, kind of not there. Just because you have so many different images, it's really easy to kind of mix things up. And so if you don't review whatever information that you're learning, those images that you have start fading away. And so if you have too much information and you're going too quickly through all the information, you're going to end up with some, some information that you're not reviewing before you end your study session. Because regardless of what you're learning, you should always make sure you review to make sure all the information is in your head, right? You have all your images. Because if you're lacking any images, you know right away you're missing some crucial information. And so you can't learn too much too quickly because it's going to mess you up when you decide, hey, you know, I'm running out of time or I went through 197 different countries and capital. I'm calling it done and you don't review at all. Then you're going to have some gaps here and there because all those images were in limbo, right? And so since you didn't review, they kind of just like start fading away. And so that's why you want to make sure that you're breaking it down into reasonable uh, amount of chunks. So you could, you know, go through maybe A through um, F and you go through all those and you make sure you review them all and you got them all down and boom. Then you can start the next section. Maybe it could be in the same day or the next day, you know, however you want to do it. But you really want to make sure whatever section that you're breaking the information down in, you got it. You know it 100%. And then the next day, it's more likely than not, you'll be able to recall all the information perfectly because you made sure from the previous day that you got it down. And of course, you no, know, I talked about how sleep helps your memory. So all that, all that kind of, you know, um, comes together when you're reviewing and you're sleeping. And then the next day, how easy it is for you to actually recall all your images and then the information itself. So don't memorize so much. Even though it's really easy for you and you feel like, hey, I could just fly through everything and I'll still be good. You're going to overestimate your ability, even though you're able to memorize it maybe for that given time period. But the next day, you're going to start having a lot of gaps because you're going to cut it short in the reviewing. You might be tired and you're just kind of done with the whole learning session. And that's going to lead to some problems later on. So just take your time when you're learning, break it down, be smart about it so you don't have to relearn information again which is probably the worst thing about learning information, right? If you have to relearn it again. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.